Remember the chia pet, the ch -ch -ch chia that would grow when you would add water to it? It took the world by storm in the 1980s, and it is now making a comeback. But it's moving from your desk to your dinner plate. Sherry Torcos is here to tell us more about the rising superfood. She is a pharmacist and a best-selling author of the Canadian Encyclopedia of Natural Medicine. Nice to have you back. It's yeah, been a thank while. Thank you. Good to see you. Okay, where is this resurgence of chia coming from? Yeah. And it has nothing to do with like this Homer Simpson that grows no. hair. <laughs> Isn't that funny? We all remember the jingle, the cha 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 chia. Yes. Well, the chia pet was huge, and of course, it was entertaining and amusing. Well, um, what happened is it, it was known that certain cultures, per, for example, in Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, the Aztecs had used chia as a food traditionally. Okay. And then not too long ago, there was a marathon runner, 52 years old, wow. beat all his competitors, mm -hmm. said it was the chia seed that gave him the advantage. Really? Because the seed is unique, very different than other types of seeds, and that it has a high amount of protein fiber, omega-3 fatty acids, very, very high in nutritional value. Okay, so super So there's food. something to this. Here is what chia looks like, right? Yes, that's right. These are the little seeds, and they're black and white. These are two different types of uh, chia seeds. There we go. And uh, you see that they're smaller than a sesame seed, but they're a powerhouse of nutrition in terms of what they contain. Per serving, one tablespoon, you're going to get about five or six grams of dietary fiber. Mm -hmm about 2.3 grams of omega-3 fatty acids, wow. calcium, magnesium, iron, antioxidants. <laughs> it is, it's, you know, really quite surprising with such a, a tiny little seed, the, no the power kidding. that it delivers. Well, Sherry, where are we going to find this? Well, there's a couple of things that you'll find with the chia. This is chia nutra. It's, um, this is the seed, actually, that I just poured out of this mm -hmm. container here. Um, this is by uh, Weber Naturals, so that would be in pharmacies like your Shoppers Drug Marts, mm -hmm. Walmarts, London Drugs. This is Ruth's um, chia seed. Cereal. It's called Chia Goodness, and this one's almond and cinnamon and then cranberry ginger. You'd find these in health food stores. But you can actually take this, the chia seed and do a lot of fun things with it. I brought some yogurt and berries, which is a favorite breakfast food of mine. And you can actually take the seeds and you can sprinkle it and have it on your yogurt. Mix it in with applesauce. Or you have little squares that you made as well, like yeah. granola squares. Yeah, these are little nougat squares. squares. Exactly. And I have you can put to ask salads. You, I have to ask you, this reminds me of what we were doing with hemp. Yes. You know, hemp used to be all the rage. Now, why yeah. chia? It's just more powerful than more hemp? More powerful. And I think hemp is still great. And I brought some hemp and some flaxseed because I think most people are familiar with the benefits of hemp and yes. flaxseed and, and how great they are for health. Well, when we look at the, the comparison in terms of what the um, the health benefits mm -hmm. are chia has more fiber more protein more omega-3 fatty acids right. all around a more powerful a nut nutritive food and we call it a superfood because it just has so many benefits you were also talking about the glycemic impact of that yes. and, and we hear so much about that about the glycemic diet so break that yes. down and what that means well the glycemic index is a measure of how carbohydrates affect your blood sugar mm -hmm. now chia can absorb seven times its weight in water and what that means is if you have it with your food it can slow down the rate of digestion and actually lower the glycemic index of your food. So if you're having cereal, if you're having oatmeal, if you're having any type of a, a, a meal, you can sprinkle the chia seed on mm -hmm. it. It absorbs moisture, water, slows down the rate of digestion. So instead of your blood sugar doing this, yes. it has more of a stable effect. And it must be great for athletes or yeah, runners. Perfect for athletes, mm -hmm. exactly. But great for people of all ages. Most Canadians do not get enough fiber in our diets. We only get about a third or a half. Mm -hmm. We need to boost fiber. So this is one way we can add some fiber to our diet and enjoy something. It actually tastes good. It's got a nice nutty flavor. You can toast the seeds, put mm -hmm. it on salads, um, do it with all kinds of neat recipes. Weight loss impact? Yeah, weight loss impact. Be does it all. <laughs> well, because, see, here's the thing, we know that fiber helps. When you're trying yes. to lose weight, having foods that are high in fiber, they, they reduce appetite, reduce cravings, stabilize blood sugar, which is really important. Right. So having a tablespoon or two of the chia a day will definitely serve as a good source of fiber and, again, help promote good blood sugar balance, reduce cravings, and reduce appetite. And, of course, you keep mentioning, mentioning the antioxidant impact, and antioxidants yes. help to slow down the aging process. Yes, they do. So we're all about antioxidants. <laughs> Antioxidants. antioxidants are great. A lot of evidence uh, points to the effect that people that eat more antioxidant-rich foods have lower risk of chronic disease, heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So mm -hmm. we definitely need to be getting more antioxidants in our diet. The chia provides antioxidants. And of course, if you have it with the, the berries, strawberries, blueberries, and oh. all of those great things, um, <laughs> more and more antioxidants.
So this seed comes directly from the chia plant. This comes directly from the chia plant, and, and actually a lot of the processing is occurring here in Canada now, so it's not something that's occurring in foreign countries. So uh, definitely a great source of good nutrition. And on my website, which is sherrytorkus.com, mm -hmm. yes. I'm going to post some information uh, that has uh, recipes and FAQ, so frequently asked questions about chia seed. Love it. You're a powerhouse yes. of information. <laughs> it's always great to have you on our Thanks show. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.